Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide I'll show you how to quickly send large video files in an email in Gmail. I'll also explain how you can control you can view your video attachments once sent. Let's get straight into it. When using Gmail to send video, the problems that most people have are in relation to file sizes. Gmail has a strict limit of 25 megabytes for any emails that are sent. So if your video is larger than 25 megabytes, or if you're sending a number of videos that together add up to more than 25 megabytes, then it's recommended you use a different method in Gmail to send your videos. In this guide, I'll firstly show you how to send a smaller video file, less than 25 megabytes. And then in part two of the guide, we'll look at how to send a video attachment of any size in Gmail. If you do know your video file size, you can jump straight to the section of this guide that's right for you using the section links at the bottom of this video. If you're not sure what size your video file is, you can quickly find this out in both Windows and on a Mac. On a Mac, find the file you want in Finder, and if you click on it, you'll see the file size displayed. Alternatively, if like me you store files on your desktop, then just right click on the file icon, and from the options shown choose Get Info. The file information box then opens and you'll see on the second line down that the file size details are shown. Let's now look at how to attach videos smaller than 25 megabytes in Gmail. So we're logged into Google and Gmail. Let's start by opening a new blank email. I'll do that by clicking on the Compose icon in the top left of the inbox. The Compose icon may look a little different for you. It may have a large plus sign or just be a pencil icon. But once clicked, all these buttons will open a new email window. If you're happy that your video is less than 25 megabytes, then you can simply attach it to your email. Remember, if you have more than one video to send, then as long as they do not total more than 25 megabytes, then they can still be added to an email. You can attach a video to your email by choosing the Attach File Paperclip icon on the toolbar at the bottom of the email. Let's click on that now. A file browser window is then opened. I can choose to add a single file or I can select a number of files in one selection. To add all of those videos, I click on the Add button in the bottom right of the file picker window. And the actual video files are then uploaded to Gmail and added to the email. I'll quickly add the email address of the person we want to send the email to and add a subject. We can then send that email off by clicking on the large blue Send button. Let's now look at how to send video files which are larger than 25 megabytes. Let's open another email compose window. So as we know, our video file is over 25 megabytes. Gmail will not allow us to send emails over 25 megabytes. So rather than send an actual video file as we did previously, we need to upload the video file we want to send to Google Drive. Once we do that, we can send a link to the file through Gmail. Google Drive is free cloud-based storage that's offered by Google and provided for you free when you sign up for a new Google account. You have a total of 15 gigabytes of free storage that you can use for a number of Google products, including Gmail. To access Google Drive and add files from the Compose window in Gmail, we need to choose the Google Drive icon in the toolbar of the email. Let's click on that now. If you've already uploaded your file to Google Drive, the quickest way to find it is to use the search bar at the top of the Insert File window. Alternatively, you can browse for your file or look in your recent files to add it. If you still need to add your video file to Google Drive, you can do this by choosing the Upload option from the top bar in this window. There are two ways to add your video file to Google Drive. If you have files stored in your desktop, you can see them by reducing the size of the Gmail window. You can do this by clicking on the Reduce Window Size option in your browser. I'm using a Mac, so this option is on the left of the window, but if you're using Windows, it'll be on the right. You can select your video by clicking on it once and then holding the left mouse button down. We then simply drag the picture to the Drag Files Here space, shown in Gmail. You'll see a copy of the file move with your mouse pointer and you know it's good to add when the Gmail insert file window turns blue as you move your mouse pointer over it. Release the left mouse button to add the video and you'll see that it's then uploaded and directly added to the attachments list. 
To add videos directly using the file picker, let's click on the Add More Files button. A file browser window is then opened. As before, I can choose to add a single file or I can select a number of files to be added. To add all of those videos, I then click on the Add button in the bottom right of the window. To finally upload the files to Google Drive and add the links to those files to my email and Gmail, I will then click on the blue Upload button. Depending on the size of those files, it may take a little while for the videos to be uploaded to Google Drive, but once that is complete, the links to the files will be added to the email. Uploading to Google Drive will also compress the videos and make them smaller and faster to send. When I choose to send the email, Gmail will ask me to choose what access I want to give to the video files. I can choose to share only with the one person I want to send the email to, and I can further decide if that person is only allowed to view the attachments, or whether they can also comment or edit what is being sent. Alternatively, I can also choose just to turn link sharing on, so that anyone with the link can view the attachments in the email. If I pick this second option, this means that whoever I send the email to can then forward on that email to anyone else and they will also be able to view or access the video attachment. It's worth noting that if you're sending an email to a non-Gmail user, such as this user from Outlook, your control options on the attachment are limited. By default, Gmail will assume you want to turn link sharing on, so that anyone can view your video file. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions for other Woggle guides. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.